Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. One interesting observation I have is that lately most of the tools which are popping up on the internet have the word deep in their name. Since the release of DeepSeek, it seems that is a new buzzword and in the same spirit we are going to check out in this video this new tool called as NanoSage which is Yes, you guessed it right, a deep research local assistant that runs on your laptop. The tool looks quite good as you can run it on CPU as long as you select a model from Olama, which is quite a lightweight such as Gemma 2 billion and there are various other 2 billion or sub billion models out there from Olama, which you can run on your CPU on your laptop. So what this tool does is that given a query, NanoSage looks through the internet for pertinent relevant information, then it builds a tree structure of the relevant chunk of information as it finds it, it summarizes it and then backtracks and builds the final report from the most relevant chunks. And all you need is just a tiny LLM that can run on CPU. There are a lot of uh, cool concepts which are present in the GitHub repo of this model and I will be referring to them shortly. But let's try to get it installed and then we will see how it works. I am going to use this Ubuntu system for this and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM courtesy masked compute. But you don't have to use the GPU if you are going with a smaller model for this video. By the way, if you are looking to rent a GPU on quite good price i will drop the link to their website with a discount coupon of 50 percent on range of gpu so do check them out let me first quickly create a virtual environment with coda and then we will get it installed which is quite simple and then we need to git clone the repo and as i said i will drop the link to it in video's description and that is done now if you are using a gpu then make sure that you install this torch torch audio and torch vision if you are not using gpu then don't worry about it so let's wait for it to get installed this is going to take a minute because i am using gpu but don't worry i'm also going to show you how you can use this tool with cpu i will show you the command too and meanwhile it installs it let me quickly introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGenPot iGenPod lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge pod across platforms like Discord, Slack and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Okay, let's go back. It is almost there. And now let's install all the requirements from the root of the repo plus we will be installing this uh, PyOpen SSL and cryptography. So let me run it. And that is also done. So everything is installed now. Now before we start using it, of course, we would need a model. Model, as I said, all you need to do is to go to this olama.com. And if you don't know what olama is, just search my channel with olama. And you should be able to find heaps of videos. Olama is one of the easiest tools to run large language models locally. If you're looking to download it and install it, just click on this download button. For Linux, just run this command. For Mac and Windows, just download this XE and next, next, you should be able to, uh, uh, you know, able to install it quite quickly. Next for model, I'm just going to go with the Gemma model and I already have Olama installed. So if I go to my terminal and do Olama list, you see that I already have two models running. But for this one, I'm just going to go with this Gemma to 2 billion, which is quite a small model. You can see just 1.6 gig. I could even use this Lama 3.2, which is 2 uh, for the CPU. But if you have a GPU, then may, then you can use any larger model according to your VRAM. So the model is almost downloaded. It is going to verify the checksum now. We should be fairly quick. Okay, so the model is also ready. Let's do Lama list. There you go. So we have our Gemma 2 model which is a google model all ready and set so the tool is installed the model is ready let's see how this works and for that for a simple search query all you need to do is to just run it from the root of the repo where we are calling this main.py 
and our query is to create a workout plan that I could lose 3 kg in 2 weeks. I want to do web search that is a tool which we are going to use and then this is a tree building that we just want to build it for until 2 devices CPU. If you will omit it, it is going to detect your GPU and then this is the um, output that we are just going to do this nucleus sampling of 10 and then for retrieval model we are using this coal pally which we also have covered on the mod the channel if you want you can also use the mini lm which is even lighter but i'm just going to go with this default so let me run it it is initializing the search session for this query so let's wait and it has given me the error because it didn't uh, for the cpu it is asking me that i need to install this library now this is bit of a bummer because they should have included it in the requirements so i'm just going to install it and see how it goes and that is installed let's clear the screen and run that command again here it is running so let's wait and the first time it is downloading that model i believe this is a coal poly model as i said you can go with that mini LM model. This is a bit heavy. I don't think so this model is going to run on CPU the 5K. It will, it might run, but it is going to take long time. But anyway, it is running at the moment on CPU as I specified CPU, so you can check out the speed. Model is loaded and now it is computing the embedding or the numerical representation, creating the knowledge base and it is using Monte Carlo. Um, tree search the mcts algo it seems let's wait for it going good making the searches here and the speed is quite good on cpu you see it has gone into these websites like the fitness phantom and all that stuff anyway i will just wait for it to finish completing its stuff and if it would be able unable to bring any data from any website it is going to give you the warning you can see that it is giving the warning that it is forbidden so maybe the website owner has blocked it but other url seems to be working so far there is one more warning here so it's been 10 minutes and it is still running and i will let it run but if you go to its repo you will see there is a results directory and then this is the first one which i ran again so you see it is create collecting the data that weight training strength training specifies the time frame and that sort of stuff and i believe that once it gathers all the data all the html so it is downloading all the html's and i think then it is going to create a report out of it so it is quite time consuming maybe due to the fact that it is using cpu but anyway i will let it run to see what happens and now it is saying that it is retrieving the top 10 local documents for final answers and eventually it has saved the final reports here in this uh, output dot um, file which is i believe is a markdown file so let's go there and check it out so i'm just going to go here this is a final report let me double click to open it so this is the one it says pretty nice actually so all the basically it has done the regs sort of introduction and has created the properly formatted real-time report so i'm just quickly running through it looks quite good very very nice so it is quite in, i mean i'm very impressed it has taken the time on cpu but the thing which it has produced is quite i would say valuable pretty nice very nice and another thing which you could do uh, in addition to simple web search is that you can do the web search but at the same time you can provide it some context around it for example it's the same command but here i'm asking it who is fahad mirza and then in the local directory in the test rag directory i have one text file which contains information about myself so it is going to do the web search in the context of this and then return me the response that is quite good and i will just run it to see what it does so it has query id again it is because the model is already loaded small one uh, that's i believe the embedding model 
it is creating the knowledge base it is loading the local documents in this directory where it's just simple small text file which contains few lines about myself and then it is just getting there you go it is saying i'm not a journalist by the way it is doing the final drag generation let's see what it does and our report has been saved let's see what it has generated it should be fun i believe i'm not sure this is our so this is a query id dd2 so if i go up so this is the one so you can search it with this query id and this is the final report there you go yep so it has done well but there are few errors there you go it has gone to pakistan i'm not sure where exactly has has got that information but which is not true i'm not a journalist but ai bit is right that youtube channel and I, all of stuff but my location and my the country is totally wrong so i'm based in australia instead of pakistan anyway this is really good i think i would have to provide it more proper file maybe it's a uh, i didn't provide it enough information in that file but other than that i think you got the idea looks quite good try it out on your cpu on your local laptop with this gemma model and then let me know what do you think and just imagine if you use the deep seek thinking model or any larger model the quality could be higher but very good of it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thank you for watching